Hey guys, I finally saw The Fighter. I wasn't really, you know, running out to the theater to see it because it's kind of predictable and it's, you know, a movie about kind of the same thing we've seen over and over. Somebody, you know, overcomes this obstacle, even though it's kind of every movie, but specifically with movies that have to do with like boxing or, you know, wrestling or something like that. We've just seen so many of those movies that I kind of knew what I was going to expect, so I didn't rush out to see it. I finally saw it and I thought it was fantastic. Christian Bale was unrecognizable. Um, he was incredible. Like, he is one of the best actors um, alive right now, I think. And I think he should win the Academy Award. Another favorite of mine in the movie, my second favorite, was Melissa Leo. Melissa Leo was absolutely fantastic. She was perfect. She she just was so good. Like, insanely talented she is. So yeah, I want Melissa Leo to win as well. Seriously, like, I love Melissa Leo now. She is one of the best actresses out there. The shots in this movie are incredible. Um, I loved how it would focus on, like, the phone cord and stuff. It was just so great. So yeah, I mean, it was all around phenomenal. It was hilarious, too. Like, it was really funny. Another thing that's kind of really random, but I've mentioned it before in one of my reviews, is that sometimes, like, in movies, you know a character is not, you know, wealthy, she's supposed to be just like a normal person going around, and yet, like, in some of those movies where they have that character, she looks like she has, like, perfectly styled hair and everything, and you just, like, I notice, and I'm like, there's no way she, you know, would do that before she left the house, even though they have, you know, hairstylists on set and everything, but they still make her look like she's, you know, going on the red carpet. Amy Adams' hair in this movie, um, which is related to what I was just saying, is perfect for her character because they didn't, which is, you know, good, and I wouldn't expect them to do this, but still I always appreciate it when they stick to the story and stick to, like, reality. Um, she, throughout the whole movie, she looks like she just threw her hair up in a ponytail, she looks, you know, like she didn't do anything to it, and that is, like, a detail that I always focus on because, I don't know, I just always notice. The acting was incredible overall. I don't know how I feel about Mark Wahlberg, I don't know, I'm not his biggest fan. Um, I'm never crazy about him. I, I can never really say, like, he was incredible after anything he's done. I don't know. I don't know why. I mean, he was good, but... I don't know. I, I, I sometimes get this feeling that he's, like, when you're watching him, you can kind of tell that he's, like, very aware of the camera. I don't know what it is. I just get that feeling. He's a good actor, but not, uh, not one of my favorites. Melissa Leo was ten times better than Mark Wahlberg. Christian Bale was ten times better than Mark Wahlberg. Amy Adams was good in this movie, but again, like, I don't know if I really like her or not, I don't know. But I have no complaints about anybody. I really love this film. Um, Christian Bale should win, Melissa Leo should win the Academy Award. If you saw this movie, which probably everybody did, um, comment below and tell me what you thought of it. I would recommend everybody go see it. Even though it is very predictable, um, it's not really the story. For me, it's not so much the events that happen in the story, it's more like the characters and everything that drives the story. So even though, you know, he... And um, this isn't really a spoiler. Well, it kind of is. You pretty much already know this is going to happen. But in the end, you know, he, he wins and everything's better than the beginning. Um, I just think that's really predictable. You know, I've seen, like I said in the beginning, I've seen this type of story so many times. But yeah, it's really character-driven and performance-driven. That's what made it fantastic for me. Okay, that's all I have to say. Goodbye.